Hey everyone, welcome back to Pavli. And in this video, you are going to learn to set up an automation by which you can automatically create new items in your Webflow website from the RSS feeds of a different website. So guys, if you want to uh, create blog post or new items in your Web, uh, Webflow website from the RSS post of different websites, this automation is for you because here uh, you need not to manually sort out the links and the data of the RSS feeds. Here, let me show you how this is going to work. Here guys, you can see as and when a feed, a RSS feed got updated on any website, the same RSS feed will be created as a new item in your Webflow website automatically. All right. So you need not to copy the link or the data or the titles of RSS feeds from a different website then come to your own website and paste the same things again. This is going to happen automatically. And guys to make this happen we are using Pavli Connect which is an integration and automation tool. And the best part of setting up this automation is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge. So anyone can set up this automation very easily. So let's set up this automation together. So guys, the first step to set up this automation is to log in into your Pavli Connect account and reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect. And to reach here, you can use the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes and it will give you 100 free automation tasks for every new month. So after setting up your free account, you can uh, log in and reach the dashboard here. And here you have to start working by creating a workflow. So to create a workflow, you just have to click here on this create workflow button. And here you can give a suitable name to the, your workflow. So I am giving the name here as uh, send RSS feeds on web, web flow website automatically. All right. So you can give any suitable name according to you. Now after filling the name, you can click on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created on this page like this. And here you will see these two things, the trigger and the action. So this automation is going to work on this trigger and the action. So the trigger is the happening of that event, which is going to trigger this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger. All right. As an our use case, the trigger would be a new RSS feed posted on any website and the action towards that trigger would be to send the same RSS feed on your Webflow website automatically. All right. So first of all, you have to set up this trigger. So here in this trigger in this choose our field, you have to search for RSS feature by Pavli, right? And in the trigger event, you have to select new item in feed and then you have to click on connect. And now it will ask for the feeds URL. So you can fill here the URL or the link of the RSS page of the website from where you want to fetch out the data RSS feeds. All right. So let me search for latest RSS feeds. So let's say I want to use the RSS feeds of NDTV website and I want to uh, create a blog in my web flow website uh, for the health issues. All right. So I have opened the RSS feed of health page of NDTV. Now I'm going to uh, copy this link from the stop search bar. All right of this RSS feed. And I'm going to paste this link here in the field URL section of our workflow like this. And now click here on save and send test request. And this workflow will fetch the most recently created RSS feed from the website. Let me show you. So here you can see we got the title, the link, the publishing date, the content, everything. And here you can see this is the, uh, let me show you again, more than hydration. So this is the title more than hydration. This is the most recent uh, RSS feed here that got fetched here, right? Now I want to uh, create a item here in my website of Webflow. So this is the website I have created and I have this blog here. And in this blog, I want to create a post out of this RSS feed that we got. So in this action step, I'm going to connect my Webflow website first. So search for Webflow here. 
and in the action event select create live item then click on connect and from this window select add new connection and here it will ask for the API token of a webflow application so guys you need to reach the project settings of your webflow there you can create a token let me show you so this is my webflows applications dashboard guys you can see and let me open the dashboard and here this is a website I have created super cool and from here in the, this is my project this is my project and from here I am going to click on settings and under the settings you will find this integrations tab click on integrations and under integrations you will find when you scroll down here this generate API key button so by clicking on it you can create a new key then copy that key and paste this key here in this field like this all right then click on save and you can see we are connected now and from here from this sites option you have to select your site in which you want to uh, create a post so this is my site you can see super cool is the name super cool okay these are my sites super cool and techno institution so I am going to select this and in the collection you have to select your page on your website so I have these three pages gallery blog about and client so I'm going to select this blog page blog post all right not as asking for the main image so if you have if you want to put an image here you can uh, uh, map the data that you have received here so right now I do not have the image link so I'm leaving the image uh, thing blank uh, but to do we do have the blog content so I am going to map this data that we have received from the RSS feed so to map this data here just click here on this block content field and you will find this RSS step in the drop down and from here only by clicking on it you can get the block content which is this the title or you can uh, select this content field here label here block post summary you can give the block post summary uh, so you can in the blog post summary you can map the title and in the link you can map the link all right mm. and here you can uh, give a name a slug or all and all these things all right so you can put all these things if you want to put here but these are not compulsory things so I'm leaving these things blank uh, let's say uh, pub let me map the publishing date this is the publishing date all right so here I am going to uh, check my connection now by clicking on save and send test request and a new blog will be posted here which we, which will be the test blog all right so I'm clicking on save and send test request and let's see what happens So it is showing here this error and it is showing fields dot name is required. So here you have to put a name in this field. All right. So let me put the name here from the first step and uh, let me put the name here as the category. So guys here in this uh, archived field if you want to publish this post directly you have to put here false all right otherwise it will go into archived section and also if you want to publish it di directly whenever a new RSS feed is posted in this uh, website you have to make the draft field as false also all right and guys uh, let me tell you one thing more that uh, this RSS feature by Pavli is going to check in every eight hours that if any new post is created on this website in this uh, feed section or not. And if there is any new post in a new RSS post in this category in this website, the same post is going to be captured and will be posted on your Webflow website automatically. All right. So here I've mapped all the things and make this archived and the draft things false. 
Now you can check your connection with your website by clicking here on save and send test request and a new post a new item will be created here in this block. So I am clicking on save and send test request and let's see what happens. And this is the response we have received. Let me show you in my website if we got a new post created and let me refresh my, my blog page and here you can see in food and drinks uh, with the name of food and drinks a new posted post is here and when you click on it you will get this uh, uh, content and when you click on food and drinks again this is the backlink that we have pasted and you reach here on this page on this uh, feed of NDTV website okay so this feed was here before and now when you click you can see this is the same post and here is the same post on our website also here so this is how it is going to work in real time guys and we are done setting up this automation and let me give you a quick recap what we have done here so first of all in the trigger I connected RSS by Pabli feature and in the feed URL I pasted the link of the RSS feed of the website from where you want to capture the RSS posts all right and then we captured a most recently created RSS feed like this after that in the action step I connected Webflow application where I have created my website selected the website and map the data like this so when you map the data like this what will happen whenever in real time a new post a new RSS feed is updated on that website which is the NDTV the same RSS feed is going to be captured and will be posted on your website here. All right. And you have to set up this automation only once. After that, you don't have to do anything manually here. After that, it is going to run automatically. And the good part is you can use this same workflow that I've just created because I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.